guys, it's Gabby here from the Glenrock Club, and today we are going to be making salt paintings. So first you're going to need some salt of any kind, and then you're going to need glue, a paintbrush, some water, some watercolors if you have them. If not, you can use food coloring mixed with water, a pencil, and a piece of paper. Okay, so first you're going to take your pencil and your paper, and you're going to draw whatever you want your painting to look like. So I'm going to draw a flower because that's what I want my paintings to look like. Once you have your drawing made, you're going to take your glue and you're just going to outline your drawing and whatever else you want colored um, with glue. So I'm just going to go ahead and start outlining everything. Okay, so now once you have your whole drawing covered in the glue um, to your preference, you're going to take salt and you're just going to sprinkle it on top. And you just want to sprinkle it everywhere and give it a nice good coating. Okay, so once you finish putting salt all over it, it should look a little something like this. And you're just going to let that dry completely until um, all of it is dry and none of the salt is coming off and then you're ready to paint. Once your salt painting is dry, you can now add your color. So um, I've let mine dry for a few minutes and now I'm just gonna add whatever colors I'd like. And I'm gonna get a nice, and you want your paintbrush to be pretty wet. And I'm just gonna start at the bottom. And you'll notice as I dab the salt, the paint onto the salt, uh, it kind of gives it this awesome effect. And I'm just gonna get a little more water, a little more paint, and I'm just gonna keep dabbing. All right guys, so now once you're done painting it, you wanna let it dry for a few hours before you hang it up. But here's the complete look, and now you can make your awesome little art projects at home. Thanks for watching, guys.